Good morning. Happy Sunday, fun day. This is a rainy day, but God still is in control. You still have to praise Him. We are not those fair weather saints. So we still have to go out and get our praise on, even when it's raining. We know that God is living on the inside of us, so it's all good. You know, wherever you are at this moment, you can send a praise up because you are the church. You are the church. Yeah, Sunday fun day. So this is my view right now. A rainy day, but God is good. Yeah, been a long time coming. From the Triple D. It's our year. Y'all let's take stand up. Y'all let's take stand up. Salute. Y'all ready? Listen. Uh. From the Triple D to the West Side. Throw it up, pants up, sky high. From the Triple D to the East Side. North Side, South Side, baby, worldwide. From the strip pole to the streets, bro. He can save anybody that he wants to. This is our year. Take over. Her done nails did. Make over. Turn up. Turn down for what? It's in my stereo. Yeah. Slow down. Step on the only. Gotta represent for my bros up in Triple D. Shout out to Dallas, present, growing no clear bun ton. All the way to stop six. Spirit in my lyrics, you can feel it every time I flow. Passion in my actions, be trying to be passive. Every time I step up on the scene, I hear the angels sing. White, no blemish, I'm fresh, they clean. Little mama stay twerking, yeah, she good on that pole. She just wanna go to school, pay rent. I am really late. I'm like, 30 minutes late but I'm here and the reason why I'm late is because I was stayed up really really late last night so I had a choice to sleep in or, or go and I decided to go I had a choice to whether or not I wanted to take a bath this morning or just get up and throw my clothes on but I just like to take a bath first so yeah so anyway let's go to church Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in doing so, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Do not overcome evil by evil, but overcome evil with good. Of course, I just had a wonderful time in church and God is good. So now I have stopped into the coffee shop to have this Butterfinger smoothie. This Butterfinger smoothie is so yummy. I mean, it is so yummy. So that is where I am right now, sitting here waiting for them to call my name to have my Butterfinger smoothie. After I leave here, I'm gonna go and um, go to the grocery store and pick up something for dinner. Yep. Looking forward to the blessed week ahead. God is good. And um, yeah, so we had an awesome time in prayer yesterday, as I said before. We have to keep our eyes on God. We have to keep, you know, when Peter was walking. Let's go back. When Peter saw what he thought was a ghost walking on the water, he was startled, of course. And then when he found out it was the Lord, he said, Lord, if it's you, bid me to come. And so the Lord said to him, come, you know, come, come out here, come out here, you know. 
And uh, Peter did on that word. On that word, he was able to 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 walk on the water with the Lord, and he was able to, um, you know, to walk. Just think about that walking on the water. He was able to walk on water, and. Um, it's only when he took his eyes off the Lord. It was only when he took his eyes off the Lord that he began to sink. And so with that being said, we have to keep our eyes on the Lord. Regardless of what is going on in the news, you know, we saw what was happening in Charlottesville, um, Virginia, whatever. We saw what happened in the news. We hear what's, um, you know, the dictator in North Korea and then, you know, Trump going back and forth we have to keep our eyes on the Lord because that scripture comes to mind is when Jesus defeated principality powers and rulers and darkness and wickedness in high places on the cross so whatever dictator that's in authority that is not according to God's will and purpose for our life that's good you know we have to remind ourselves that Jesus has already dealt with this and he has defeated that principality he has defeated that power he has defeated that you know that wicked spirit that's you know operate uh, operating you know we have to remind that spirit that is defeated in the name of Jesus and the blood of the Lord Jesus no need to worry it's no need to fear it's no need to have anxiety about this day or tomorrow or even yesterday you know God gave us a promise that no evil will befall us neither shall any plague or calamity come near our dwelling that's it. That's a promise for the Lord. Claim that for your household. When God sees His precious blood, He is sure to protect us. Claim the blood of Jesus. Study out the blood of Jesus. Study out the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus over your homes and your families. Plead the blood of Jesus over your country. Plead the blood of Jesus over this nation. Plead the blood of Jesus. Stand in the gap. Pray for those. Pray for. Pray for everyone who God put on your heart. Pray for those. Pray for your friends. Pray for whoever is in your circle. Pray for them. You know, this is a time of prayer. And it is not a time of worry. When I think about how God saw, you know, in the Old Testament when they put the blood of these sacrificial um, uh, lambs on the doorposts of the houses, which is a, is a demonstration of what we're doing now the, the Lamb of God, we put His blood on the doorposts of our houses. We declare it by words. We speak it. Father, I declare the blood of Jesus over our house. But when they, when God saw this blood of these lambs in the Old Testament as a, a, a shadow of what's to come through Christ, He protected their house. So God was teaching us in that situation that we're supposed to declare the blood of Jesus and we're, we find shelter in the blood of Jesus because that God redeemed us from the curse of the law through the blood of Jesus. So plead the blood of Jesus. I don't understand ministries who do not speak about the blood of Jesus. I don't understand ministries who do not lift up the Holy Spirit and talk about the, the power and the fire and the, the fire of the Holy Ghost. I don't understand how we are going to be encouraged if, mem uh, if we don't meditate on the Word of God. The Word of God is what gives us peace. So we have to go back. We have to go back to the victory that we have in Christ Jesus. We have to be encouraged by the victory that we have in Christ Jesus. Because if you don't, if you're not encouraged about about um, if you're not encouraged by the Word of God, then how are you going to be encouraged? If you're not encouraged that we have the victory through Christ Jesus, how are you going to be encouraged? Let's be real here. If you don't have a solid foundation, an anchor to hold your thoughts in place to let you know everything going to be all right, you're going to be worried. You're going to be worried. You're going to be looking like because you really don't understand or you do not secure in who you are and are secure in the victory that we have in Christ. And that's why people, you know, they, that's why they listen to the news. And the, the news is just not going to, uh, the secular news is not going to give you peace. I'm sure enough you're going to want to know what's going on in the events, but at the, not just so you can sit around and listen to what they're saying, so you can take your position in prayer, so you can pray. And that's why I invite you to come out to our prayer meeting that we have on Saturdays at 9.15. I'll often put up a link, uh, an invitation to invite you. Join a prayer group. 
you know, begin to pray, get together. So we pray. We pray the word of God. We pray in the spirit. We pray in the Holy Spirit. So you're invited. It's an intimate, it's an intimate, small um, place, but nevertheless, very big in the power of God. Because Christ is the wisdom of God and the power of God. And so, therefore, that's how we find comfort. So be encouraged and know that God loves you with an everlasting love. Know that you can pray. So we have to know that we have the victory. And be reminded that we have the victory. And again, when Jesus walked on the water, he, uh, Peter desired to meet the Lord where he was, walking on that water. I mean, goals and accomplishments and big uh, big assignments we have to hold on to the hand of the Lord and we have to know that when we keep our eyes on him we will not sink only when Peter took his eyes off the Lord he began to sink that's the only time but if we keep our eyes on the Lord then we will be encouraged and we will be uh, we will be resting assured that everything is going to work out for God's perfect will for those who love God and who are called according to his good will and purpose so, yeah, this Sunday, Monday, know that you are loved, know that God is with you, and know that if God be for you, who can be against you. So make it a great, awesome, blossom week, and an awesome Sunday, Monday. Jesus loves you.